What's up guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Even though the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro have not yet been officially announced, a whole set of leaks have pretty well given away everything. The devices are expected to be powered by the Tensor G3 processor, which according to its Geekbench performance, lags much behind current gen options, and those expecting significant advancements in its replacement may be dissatisfied to learn that they won't be as significant. Android Authority has learned from the well-known leaker Kamlila Wajid Jichowska that the Tensor G4 will continue to be an Exynos derivative, much like its predecessors. The Tensor G3, also known as Zuma, will be built upon it as indicated by the codename Zuma Pro. Since 2020, the custom SOC C team at Samsung LSI has collaborated closely with Google and will do so for the foreseeable future. While it is still too early to predict which Samsung Foundry node will be used to manufacture the Tensor G4, there is a greater likelihood that it will be 4 LP LP or 4 LP plus, even though 3 GAP is an overly optimistic expectation. So according to Camila, Google intends to gradually wean itself off of Samsung by expanding its IP library, and as a result, it will be able to both design some SOC components from scratch and license others. Ideally, the Pixel 10 series will be introduced in 2025, along with a totally bespoke SOC from Google and the NS3A and N3P nodes of TSMC, or to be completely functional by that time. In addition to that piece of news, the Google Pixel Watch 2 will be showcased during the Made by Google event on October 4. And although there haven't been many rumors about the smartwatch, it's evident from the few that there will be significant changes. One of those modifications might have been taken directly from the Fitbit Sense 2. So according to sources who spoke with 9to5Google, the Pixel Watch 2 will include an electrodermal activity sensor and a skin temperature sensor, just like the Fitbit Sense 2. Users will be able to control their own stress levels and instantly check their skin temperature thanks to the Pixel Watch 2. According to prior rumors, stress management could be added to the watch, which would be a useful update and moreover, the ability to view past and present skin temperatures would set the Pixel Watch apart from the Sense 2. The Pixel Watch 2 should provide a much more realistic picture of how your body temperature fluctuates throughout the day because the Fitbit only measures temperature variance at night. In addition, similar to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and 6, Google suggests that it may may also be used to track menstrual period. However, sources were unable to confirm whether this was the case or not. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The text chat is over and I am out.